I always talk about it, and then I'm like, man, everybody asks me. So I guess it is a topic. No, I love them. So what's so what's goody? All right. All right. So the the newest... you're getting you're you have some tattoos. Yes. I that I've, I'm always fascinated with because you know with all this chocolate, so only so much shows up. <laughs> so, but I, I'm gonna pick up her leg. I'm not. I'm not flirting. Yes, she is. But look. Okay, so this is my newest. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick up the left. I don't care. We're gonna zoom. Okay. You guys need to see this. This is super hot. Okay, so this, these are the new, the newest ones. Um, it's my That's lighthouse. Dope. And then Bray, I, Bray's not included. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Look at all this. Look at I all know, this. I know. It's my summer look. It's my pretty. summer look. I'm like, can I get some braids? You've had braids. <laughs> I know I have. <laughs> all right, so this is the back. I got a lot going on. This is, and this is the other side. I tattooed my dog, Walter. Oh. My little what? Boston Terrier. Look at that. Walter's here. I love it. And then um, I'm in the eye. In the seeing eye, yeah. On my kneecap. It's crying Illuminati tears. would love that. This yeah. is the. Uh, should tweet it. This is the uh, teardrops from the crying eye for, uh, for you guys to see. I like that a lot. And these so, are just going to be storm clouds once it's all filled in. And, uh, yeah, so there's a lot going on. Once it starts to get filled in, you'll be able to see. But And then I have this whole leg that I'm sure this is old news. I've, I've had it for a long time. Um, and then, obviously, my arm sleeve. So, are you planning on covering your entire body? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a piece done here by a guy named Pete. And then on the other thigh, I'll do another one there. And then, um, obviously, the other arm, I'll get done. But, uh, yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. No, I like them. Is there any significance, any reason by? Um, yeah, I, I, I always say I, I, I get tattooed for, uh, like, a timeline of events that happen. Like, I usually set for a long period of time, like, six to seven hours, you know, for a, a session. So, it's a lot of pain, but... In a time period in your life where you're going through some stuff, when you set through that, it, it's kind of like a release. Like, it kind of goes away. Right. You just deal with it. And then you remember the time in your life of when and like why you got it and what was going on. It's more of like a timeline of events to me. Never like, oh, I'm going to get this because it reminds me of this. Right, like, exactly. I mean, I got, I got the octopus, obviously. You know, I love octopus. Like, I think they're beautiful animals. And, you know, there's reasons why I got it. But... It's not, I don't know, people are like, there's not some significant, right, so like, oh, I remember this thing of that. events, you know, and, like, the lighthouse is for my mother. Um, she loves lighthouses, and I don't see her very often, but she's always there, so she right. kind of lights the way, even though she's not there, because they do everything for her. That's so know? poetic. Oh, so MG. Oh, up. she's an artist. She's a poet. She Whatever. lights the way for me. You know that was cute. It's true. That's true. That's why that's I got That's green card crew. Like, seriously, greeting card. It is. Yes. And uh, that's why I got it. I love my mom. And uh, I love a, that. Lot of the, a lot of the things that I do in my life um, is because of my mother, so. So yeah, what's fine. with the Eastern influence? Because I see that's Buddha. Yeah. Right? So, and then I see a lot, a lot of, of... I like the style a lot. Um, and it's feminine. Yeah, I didn't want a crate like you could have gotten really gnarly with it with their stuff because they have a lot right. of like samurai scenes and like you know all kinds of very um, masculine things. But I try to I try to stick to more feminine tattoos because I do want to appear girly a little bit. <laughs> no, and it does. It's it's very hard to pull off. And with you being an artist, have you painted or actually drawn any of the pieces on no, you? No, I haven't. Why? A lot of people ask that. I don't know. I. I love other I love other people's artwork more than I like my own. Shut so I would up. like why you know what I'm saying? Like if I put that in my house, Shelly, I would turn it around. I don't wanna look at something that I made. Like I made it. I don't I mean, wanna look at it anymore. Gonna, I, I mean, try to get rid of it as fast as I can or it's gonna get painted over because I hate looking at it. Like that's, that's so like crazy. I don't I don't know. I guess I've it's like I guess it's like a musician. When they make a record and they don't want to see, want to see it the same things way. Wrong with it, exactly. And I'm going to want to change it. it because when I started it, I had this vision of what it really wanted to look like, and it didn't. So then I get angry and frustrated. So then I want to start over, and I just right. paint over top of it, and that's usually how it goes. So everyone asks me, "Oh, you want to?" I'm like, "If I was to draw my own tattoo, I, that would that would be a disaster." That is so interesting to me. So, I mean, even with art being such a major part of your life, instead of you doing your own, this still represents the artistic 
side, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, like, I like others, like, all my tattoo artists that I've gotten tattooed by, they have amazing paintings. Right. They're amazing painters. Like, Hoffa is an amazing painter. I would, I'm, like, in, in love with his paintings. So if you ever get a chance, um, Ho his name's Kenneth Hoffa Jr., and he No, I might go get is, some work done. Cause he is amazing. I didn't do it. I got one done in Orlando, and I vowed off no more Orlando tattoos just Well, you have to go to the people like, that tattoo yeah. me because... They're amazing people and artists. They'll make you feel comfortable. Because I know in a lot of shops, which I have experienced myself, is that if, if you don't personally know them and you walk into a shop not knowing right. them or anything about what they do or anything like that, and you're an out-of-towner and you come in, um, the places that I've been tattooed and my friends that, that tattoo me are very welcoming. They're not like... Right. You know how, like, if there, there's, like, this whole scene, like, when you're tattoos, like, and, like, in that whole thing, like... A, a lot of a lot of shops kind of make you feel uncomfortable when you walk in, but Ascension doesn't make you feel that way. Like when you walk in, it's very calm. Like there's like Buddhas and Ohms and like all kinds of stuff. Right? It's very like settling when you walk in. Everyone's like, "Hey, how are you?" Like they greet you. They're not they're not snobby like tattoo snobs. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. Yeah. So girls can get tattoos too and look super sexy. <laughs> This is Steph Wood, and I'm on eventjunkies.net. Cool, yeah. Thank you, thank you.